YouTube, what is good? Welcome back. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Jason. I go by J Swipes. I'm a 22 year old owner, operator, and fleet owner in the New York, New Jersey area. And I document my life in hopes that the information that I bring gives value to you in some type of way, shape, or form. So if you made it to this video, you clearly want some information on what the best truck is to start a box truck company with. And I'm gonna be breaking down two of the most common and most reliable trucks, which is the Hino 268 and the Freightliner M2. So let's get it. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen, with fuel prices continuing to skyrocket in these crazy times, make sure you're taking advantage of fuel car discounts. So I've officially partnered up with the top factoring company in the trucking industry, OTR Capital, to not only bring you guys fuel discounts of up to 35 cents per gallon, even fuel advancement, but also factoring through OTR so that you guys can get paid for from these loads that you guys are dropping off within 24 to 48 hours instead of having to wait two weeks to get paid keep your cash flowing and your business rolling put the link down in the description below it's completely free to sign up in the otr capital make sure you take advantage of these promotions and let's get back to the video Now this video is gonna be purely based off of two years of ownership of this Hino 268 and one year of ownership of this Freightliner M2. All right, so starting with the truck that I've owned the longest, this is a 2013 Hino 268 six-speed manual, 26 footer the box is about 11 feet six inches eight inches now i do want to let you guys know that this is a non-cdl truck which means you do not need a commercial driver's license in order to drive this you can haul up to 12,000 pounds with this truck now like i said earlier this is a six-speed manual transmission you can find them in automatics, you know, either way it goes. Now, this is a very popular and common truck choice because he knows are actually made by Toyota Motors, which is a super reliable car company. Like I said, this is a 26 foot box, but they also come in 24 footers, as you can see the difference. Now, walking around to the back, of course, this truck does have a lift gate which is very useful when you have to load and unload yourself. In reality, when you're backing up into docks, you're really not gonna need this lift gate, but it does come in handy because sometimes you will need a lift gate and pallet jack, and if you don't have it, and it's better to have it and not need it than not have it and need it. Alrighty, y'all, now in the back, of course, these box trucks usually have slide up doors. Now, one thing that you're gonna wanna make sure that your box truck has in the back is these things called e-tracks now e-tracks of course make it easy for you to put your straps in any type of straps that you have and strap down your loads now this is super important whether you're doing local runs whether you're otr whether you're doing any type of loads you're gonna need to strap and secure your loads because if you mess up these loads on you, you're the independent contractor, you're responsible for any damages that happen to any type of loads that you have in the back of your truck. Now, most box trucks are usually gonna come with a fiberglass roof. Um, it's either fiberglass roof or aluminum. Either way it goes, they're both super sturdy. Definitely not a deal breaker. Now, I told you guys that these Hino box trucks are actually made by Toyota Motors, which is a super reliable company. Now, one thing that you guys wanna focus on when you're looking for a box truck is how readily available are the parts and the mechanics. Now, I can vouch from experience that parts on these Hino trucks are super readily available. You're not gonna have a hard time finding any type of parts or even mechanics since these trucks are super easy to work on and don't require any type of crazy licenses to work on them over here you have your radio control you have your power mirrors here and of course you have your ac and heater controls parking brake you have an outlet right here and of course cool little cup holder everything that you need now ladies and gentlemen that right there was your 2013 hino 268 non-cdl 26 foot box truck this is a great choice for first truck to start your box truck company with and you can typically find these trucks anywhere from 20 to fifty thousand dollars depending on whether you're looking for them on facebook marketplace or dealership now moving on to choice number two this is a 2014 freightliner m2 24 foot box truck with lift gate as you guys can tell of course the difference between the 24 foot and the 26 footer like i mentioned earlier this one has a lift gate as well Alrighty, now stepping into the freightliner m2 some of the obvious differences on this truck is that there is no i mean of course it's an automatic um but you 
put it into drive neutral reverse right here which is super cool don't mind the mess y'all this is a working truck now turning the key on the 2014 freightliner m2 of course you're gonna hear the air brake noise now this truck doesn't have a partial digital dash it's pretty much your normal tachometer now the layout on this truck is a little bit different of course like i said you switch gears here drive neutral reverse you have your parking brake here um we installed a radio which is super cool comes with a whole lot of bluetooth and features um you know you have a little mount here to put your eld device you have a couple charging ports of course your air and heater controls so that is really the main difference between the hino 268 and the freightliner m2 is pretty much the dash layout and how you switch gears so with this being a freightliner kind of like the hino 268 parts are super readily available and mechanics are also super available so if something were to ever go wrong you know that all you have to do is do some looking and there's always going to be somebody that can work on your truck or find parts for your truck now just like the hino 268 the freightliner m2 does have a roll-up door as well here go the e-tracks that i was talking about this one actually has a little bit more than the hino 268 but it gives you the option to strap down any type of load that you have on your truck so that it doesn't go anywhere and so that you don't have to be liable for any damages on cargo like i mentioned a little bit earlier these box trucks are either going to have a fiberglass roof or an aluminum roof just like this one both of which are super super sturdy and can withstand pretty much everything now let me show you guys how the lift gate works on this freightliner m2 really the same as the hino 268 it has a switch right here you press down and the lift gate starts to come down you unfold it you load and you unload when you're done it locks into place and you're good to go so all in all ladies and gentlemen really Hino 268 Freightliner M2 are both amazing choices for a first box truck to start your box truck company with. Not only do you not need a commercial driver's license for these box trucks, but you really need no experience to hop into one of these and learn. I hopped into my 24 foot Hino 268 and in about a week and a half, two weeks, I pretty much got the hang of how to drive the truck. So that's how easy it is to drive these trucks. It really just takes practice. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts on whether you would choose the Hino 268 or the Freightliner M2 in a manual or in an automatic transmission. Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, family, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next video because this next video might be the reason why you blow up in this trucking industry. So let's get it.